Vegan Kendra Jarkhan. So we will deliver his lecture on disease management in dry cow under integrated livestock farming system. So we welcome you on behalf of NADCL and on behalf of candidates. So the recording will start in one minute. After that, you will start. So just give us one minute. Thank you. So, so can you please start now? Okay, ma'am. Good afternoon to all. I am Dr. Sudhanshu Shekhar, working at SMS in Kishi Vigyan Kandar Kodarma. I am very thankful to the organizer of this 21 days training program to give me an opportunity to present a lecture on disease management in dairy cow under integrated livestock farming system. Here we will we will discussing about five important diseases of the livestock such as LSD, mastitis, HS, B2 and FMD. Now starting with LSD. LSD means lumpy skin disease. It's a new disease for us. It is a emerging disease in India. It is first time reported in 2020. Uh, okay, now we start with LSD because it is new for us. Lumpy skin disease is re-emerging poultry, uh, re-emerging fox disease. Means re-emerging means is appear, uh, uh, it appear, uh, it reappear after significant reduction in uh, in incidence. It is a mainly disease of cattle. Sometimes it is also infected in buffalo. It is not a viable disease because it causes huge economic loss and it is a uh, it uh, it, uh, it causes trade restriction. So it is categories. Category under notifiable disease. So etiology, it is a lumpy skin disease is a very closely related to goat and sheep of virus, and it is a DNA virus, DNA virus. So the prototype strain of this virus is called nibbling fox virus. Uh, the virus cannot uh, difference serologically with sheep and goat virus. History. The disease is first found in South Africa at Zambia. After that, disease spread in 1914 around the Africa, but certain leave this country, Libya, Algeria, Morocco, and Tunisia. After that, disease is first time 1989. Disease is reported in outside Africa, that is in Israel. From there, it's a, in 19, it is a mid, Middle East country in 2013-14. Disease is reported in Turkey, Iraq, Iran. Azerbaijan, Cyprus, further diseases also returned in Balkan and Caucasus country. Currently, LST keeps on spreading to Asian country. 2015, it is Russian Federal, 2016, it is Kazakhstan, 2019, China and India. In India, disease is first reported by Sudhakar et al. Uh, in the first time in uh, Odisha. After later one, diseases are also reported in Nepal, Bhutan, China, Sri Lanka and Taiwan. Economic importance. Disease, disease cause both. It is a huge. Uh, it cause huge economic loss because uh, disease cause direct and indirect loss. Direct loss in the form of loss of production, severe emaciation, aversion, secondary mastitis, loss of fertility, extensive damage to hide and skin, loss of drop from lameness. Indirect loss due to trade restriction. Uh, due to trade restriction, treatment. Diagnose, uh, cost, cost for treatment of the disease, uh, uh, diagnosis of the disease, disinfectant of the premises. Uh, so it causes huge economic loss. Epidemiology. Mainly cattle. Mainly cattle is a uh, uh, disease. Uh, disease occur mainly in cattle. It is not reported in sheep and goat. But all breed of cattle, uh, either it is a zebu or cross breed or exotic breed. All breeds are susceptible to this disease, uh, either sex, whether it is a male, all age group. It is uh, reported in uh, calf also, young animal also, or in in dairy cows also. It's a uh, it cause uh, it cause huge morbidity. Morbidity goes up to hundred percent. It varies from three to eighty five percent, but it's a less mortal mortality. Mortality is record only one to three percent. Transmitter disease is transmitted primarily by insect bite. So the disease is mainly reported when there is a more insect population. Means it is mainly reported in the month of July and August because at that time there is hot humid climates. Hot humid climates favor the growth of this uh, this fighting insect like mosquito, flies, ticks, and weeds. Minor root 
final route of transmission is due to direct contact, cutaneous lesion, or saliva or nasal discharge, milk, semen, and muscles. Uh, there is no carrier stage uh, in uh, in vector, so it, this is just mechanically disease is transmitted from the infected infected animal to the healthy animal th throughout insect white. A spread related to movement of the cattle, uh, so clinical sign. The incubation period after infection first appear is disease is two to five weeks. Infection might be be in a friend. We know any clinical system or there is a severe clinical system. Severe clinical system means there is high rise of temperature, cell salivation, acclimation or disease mutation. And one of the classical in this disease, there is a classically formation of nodules on the skin, uh, the screen, on the skin or on the screen or inside the respiratory tract, digestive tract or reproductive tract. In the skin, all the cuties, all the seven layer of skin is involved. The, the nodule is circumscribed, round, raised, circular, firm, and pen. So there is a two fat of nodules. There are either nodules, uh, nodules will be subside after some time, or it may form the ulcer. There is formation of uh, there is uh, there is a subscribed round, raised, circular, firm, painful area which goes necrosed. After necrosis, there is a sloughy necrosis. So this is called seed fast. So seed for after necrosis, there is sloughing, sloughing of this, uh, this from the skin, uh, skin from skin layer. So there is a formation of ulcer. A deep ulcer is formed. Uh, when there is a secondary bacterial infection, there is a, the, the condition may be aggravated. So the ulcer mainly present on head, neck, other uh, perineum or leg liver. Secondary bacterial infection uh, may aggravate the condition. There is, if the nodule present in the respiratory tract, there is a rhinitis. One thing here I also want to explain the disease also also uh, also uh, disease uh, the virus also infect the uh, lymphatic channel. Uh, lymph gland lymph gland is solid so there is lem uh, so there is a uh, there is odima in the hind limb or forelimb mainly odima is seen in uh, forelimb so if there is a odima there is a there is swollen of a, uh, swollen of the forelimb after swelling there uh, due to pressure there is a, uh, there is a rupture of the skin and there is also formation of the wound and it is very difficult to heal the wound because uh, exudate is uh, exudate uh, ex exudate are uh, running from that nodule uh, from that reason and aversion and sterile. If uh, if the nodule are present in the uh, nodule are present in the reproductive tract, there is a there is a uh, there is aversion or temp sterility sterility or infertility can Postmortem lesion. Characteristic skin lesion is present uh, either either over the skin or present in the mucous membrane, is uh, GI tracts, lungs, or a reproductive tract, and notably uh, nodules in the lungs, hemorrhage in spleen and liver. Or these similar type of uh, similar of uh, type of skin disease are present in this disease. Uh, mainly, we can confuse with the pseudo lumpy skin disease. Uh, uh, but either pseudo pseudo lumpy skin disease, the uh, nodule is uh, nodule is very small. It is restricted only in the other region. Diagnosis: Clinically, the characteristic uh, skin nodule are present. Sampling nodule, uh, we can take the uh, sample from nodules, blood or swab or serum. Before collecting or sending any sample, the proper authority should be contacted. Because it is not a notifiable disease, we cannot confirm. Uh, we not confirm that uh, whether the disease. If the if we confirm that the disease is outbreak in this region, there uh, there is a trade restriction. So, by proper authority should be contacted before uh, send uh, before sending uh, the sample into the laboratory. Samples should be sent under a secure condition and to be authorized laboratory to prevent the spread of the disease. In laboratory, virus isolation and identification through PCR, 
There is electron microscopy in combination with history. A uh, various serological test that, uh, that uh, like uh, viral neutralization test, ELISA, indirect fluorescent antibody test will be performed. Here, uh, here um, uh, you can uh, as you can see this photograph. In early stage of disease, few nodules are formation. Or uh, for if we if uh, few nodules are formed. Uh, in later stage of disease, in first figure, you can see there is a odima of uh, four limb. Uh, there is a ha more uh, more number of nodules are formed uh, around the body surface or the skin surface. And in last figure, there is a collision collision of the nodules and form a big ulcer. So the height quality height quality uh, height of this disease is very poor. So so there, uh, if we export the export the skin or height in the uh, uh, in the uh, American country or Middle East country, there is a trade restriction. So, treatment. So, the goal of treatment, how, uh, how we subside the nodules. If there is early treatment, early treatment with antibiotics or anti-inflammatics or uh, or, uh, or uh, uh, Antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, mm, or or uh, with uh, with uh, with, uh, with fluid and electrolyte therapy, we can control the animal. In, in later stage, we cannot control the animal because in later stage there is a uh, there is a formation of uh, there is a formation of the ulcer. If if ulcer is formed, there is a, another. Uh, uh, if a wound is open, then there is a chance of maggot infection, chance of bacterial infection, and uh, the seed fast seed in seed fast the uh, virus can uh, survive up to the 21 days or even in one month. So there is a chance of more infection uh, nearby nearby farm. So goal of treatment is how to how to suppress the nodules. So uh, there, we can use broad spectrum antibiotic like chloroquinones, endofloxacin we can use effectively at the dose rate of 3 to 5 mg per kg per day. Uh, in acute case, uh, the, the treatment may be continued to 3 to 5 days. Uh, uh, in chronic case, uh, the 3 dose at 3 days interval. In respiratory form, ceftriaxone we can use for uh, pain for relief of pain, NSID, meloxicam at the rate of 1 mg per kg body weight we can use to, uh, to, prevent the, uh, to prevent from dehydration we can use the uh, IV fluid therapy like the dextrose normal saline or Dengar lactate saline. For uh, management of wound we can use uh, magoticidal, magoticidal spray along with antibiotics and other supporting treatment to, uh, to fast healing. Prevention and control. Recommend action is immediately notify the authority. We can uh, uh, immediately we can inform the local district administrator, and uh, after that we isolation and quarantine the infected animal in endemic area. Vaccination of cattle. Uh, cattle uh, here uh, no vaccine is uh, no vaccine is uh, no, uh, no vaccine is present in India. In India. Uh, the government uh, government of India issued a guideline to use uh, pox virus uh, goat virus vaccine goat 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 pox virus vaccine. So and insect control because it uh, it is mechanically transfer uh, transmitted to the insect. So insect control of insect population is very essential to uh, to control this disease in non endemic area. Quarantine, quarantine the animal, depopulate the animal, and proper disposal of the uh, proper carcass dis disposal. Cleaning and dis uh, disinfectant of the premises. LSD virus is sus susceptible to ether 20%, chloroform, formalin 1%, and some detergents like phenols 2% 2, 2 for 15 minutes. The virus can be neutralized. Uh, the virus can survive up to 35 days in environment or in desiccated scale with seed fast. Vaccination. Heterologous live attenuated vaccine, sheep and goat vaccine are available. We can control this uh, this disease uh, this disease 
using sheep and goat fox virus first but the government of india recommended goat fox vaccine to control this disease homologous live attenuated vaccine like lsd vaccine lsd vaccine uh, we cannot use uh, till now because if you use uh, lsd vaccine live attenuated lsd vaccine there is a formation of a small nodule on the body surface of the cattle and uh, cause a disease this is the disease is known as nibbling fox virus disease okay so we can use heterologous live attenuated vaccine to control the sheep fox vaccine other commercial vaccine but this is not available in india icr work on this uh, uh, work on to develop uh, develop uh, develop the vaccine opv vaccine uh, available in south africa lumpy vac also available in the south africa opv vax uh, available in hungary inactive inactivated life uh, life lsd vaccine not available yet but icr work on this so for controlling this disease mass vaccination will we give sufficient coverage to control this animal vaccinated vaccination of all healthy animals in a zone in a in disease free zone minimum time within minimum time frame so the disease cannot be outbreak in the new areas these are some guidelines to how we can say the link is available from where we can download the guideline to control this disease there is a referral referral lab, a lab uh, available at icr national institute of high high security animal disease Bhopal. Uh, here the guideline available how you will uh, send the sample uh, to this uh, to uh, to this institute after proper permission from the district administration or district in, uh, or uh, or through the state uh, animal husbandry department that's all about uh, lumpy skin disease uh, we we cover all the portion uh, now the another disease is bovine mastitis it is uh, another very important disease because it causes huge economic loss mastitis mastitis is uh, made from two terms mast 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 and itis mast means uh, mast means breast or you can say other itis means inflammation Mastitis is a multi etiological complex disease, means it is caused by bacteria, virus, uh, virus, or even in uh, uh, bacteria, virus, fungus, or mycoplasma. So, yeah, even another factor also involved in uh, and mastitis is inflammation of parenchyma of the membrane. Uh, there is a physical, chemical, and microbial change in the milk and pathological change in the glandular tissue of the udder. Just you can see in, uh, you can see here, in normal udder and in the udder, there is a swelling, uh, a swelling, pain, warm and redness, and all inflammatory cardinal sign is present uh, in case of mastitis. It's caused huge economic loss, no any form in the world is free from this disease, uh, the five uh, if if uh, the five percent of animal is suffer from this disease, and every year there is huge economic loss. Huge economic loss in the form of reduced milk yield. Milk yield goes reduced up to uh, mil, uh, up to seventy percent. Uh, there there is a residual effect. A residual a residual a residual a residue present in of antibiotic. So there is a discard of the milk nine percent. Losses occur due to discard of the meat, and another thing, the cost of treatment. If there is a mastitis, the cat, uh, you can imagine one. If you treat the one case, the treatment goes up to the uh, even goes up to the two thousand rupees per animal. And another thing is called premature culling. If the, the, it is a multi etiological disease, so if you can treat this disease. Uh, only 40 percent chance 40 to 60 percent chance you can uh, you can uh, you can cure this disease because it is a multifactorial especially in field condition where there is no 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 there is nothing left facility so there is a premature culling of the mm, premature culling of the animal due to this uh, this disease and annual economic loss is goes to 6,000 crore rupees from this single disease. Out of this, 
70 to 80 percent lost caused by due to subclinical mastitis. Later on, we discuss on what is subclinical mastitis. Losses from med, uh, losses from mastitis were twice as high as losses from infertility and reproductive disease. So it is a very very uh, is caused huge economic loss and it is a uh, very uh, it is caused huge losses to dairy men dairy men because is uh, because it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, effect on vital organ where from where the milk is coming out. So what is health concern about mastitis? For animal health, there is a loss of function of water if mastitis occurs. So there is a loss of function of water. This milk does not secrete from that water or lower milk production from that infected water. Sometimes in acute or for acute cases, there is a death of cow. For human health, because it is a multi, um, uh, in this uh, particular disease, mastitis, there is multi multiple bacterial involvement so the quality of milk is unsuitable for human consumption after treatment for even four to five days with higher antibiotic there is a residual effect of uh, antibiotic in the milk so it is not fit for human consumption it also help uh, the disease uh, mastitis also help in a spread or uh, help in spread of many disease in women like tuberculosis Tuberculosis, uh, myobacterium tuberculosis is uh, one of the bacteria which cause mastitis in the uh, in the cattle, and it is uh, uh, it is uh, it and it is a genetic disease. It can transfer from uh, uh, transfer to cattle to uh, cattle to human. Uh, same thing are in brucellosis, uh, Staphylococcus toxemia, and sore throat disease, scarlet fever, and gastrointestinal. The disease is also cause, cause food poisoning in the in in the human. So there is a both health 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 hazard in animal health or human health. Etiology. Presently, high so uh, two fifty infectious causes of bovine mastitis are now to date. So main culprit of this disease is Pylococcus aureus or Staphylococcus agalesia, and in environmental bacteritis. Uh, Esteria coli, uh, Esteria coli is as main main bacteria which cause the uh, which cause mastitis in uh, in, uh, in in dairy cow. Other other pathogen like fungus, yeast, mycoplasma, and virus are also cause mastitis in in dairy cow. Susceptible. Now. All species of dairy buffalo, goat, sheep, pigs, and horse are Susceptible for this disease, mainly the higher, higher are more susceptible uh, than than low yielder cow. Uh, in comparison to cattle and buffalo, cattle cow are more susceptible for this disease. There are various predisposing factors. Here we describe some of the predisposing factors. Disease is more prevalent in in high age group, and uh, this disease is mainly occurring high age group. Means uh, 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 the disease is a less uh, less uh, disease is less uh, less occurrence in first first uh, um, in first uh, in first lactation. Disease is mainly seen in second uh, mainly seen in third or fourth lactation or in successive lactation. Infection rate is more in initial and in the stage of lactation. Disease uh, disease is mainly occurs in initial or in the stage of lactation. Uh, lactation. It is also incomplete removal of the milk from udder is a, one of the important important predisposing factor which uh, cause mastitis in cattle because uh, there is a uh, if uh, there is a incomplete removal of milk there is a uh, there is chance of more chance of bacterial inhalation in, in inside the milk uh, inside the udder. So, or another thing here, I also want to explain uh, who, uh, the faulty method of milching is also one of the predisposing factor uh, for mastitis. Full hand, uh, full hand milching is uh, one of the suitable method for um, uh, suitable methods uh, to prevent mastitis. Exotic breeds are more susceptible, more prone to these mastitis. High yielding cattle are mainly affected 
because there is a big uh, there is a genetic manipulation after uh, genetic uh, um, uh, then genetic manipulation of dairy cow to make uh, uh, cow is high elders uh, so there is a uh, elementary growth of udders the size of udder became big there they are more prone to injury and uh, the diet the diet if we uh, we give high protein diet there is a more chance of mastitis in in high elders cow the disease is more frequent in harder so they the uh, in is a smaller we can monitor regular but in big herd there is a there is a more uh, mastitis is more of us in uh, larger any injury in the teeth or other cow mastitis brick floors hardening of floor bad hygiene is another important form of this disease folded thumb method that uh, earlier we can uh, describe this thing ki full hand matching is a one Well, best best method to prevent mastitis, uh, folded thumb method or strip method is uh, a, a, if we use this method for mulching of the cow, there is a more chance of mastitis. Incidence of mastitis is more in the cow with retention of the placenta because here uh, we see that the, if if the cow suffer from retention of placenta, there is a more chance of the mastitis. So these are. Beside these bacteria, these are uh, these are predisposing factors which uh, which which makes cow more prone to the mastitis. So process of infection, how disease can, yeah, how the bacteria can enter this uh, this other. So these bacteria like Staphylococcus, Staphylococcus, com commonly present on the body surface of the cow, and other environmental bacteria like it, like E. coli, corny bacteria. Pathogens are present in the environment. So, uh, after milking, uh, there is a negative pressure. There is a negative pressure on the udder. Uh, so, the uh, bacteria present on the teeth surface. They uh, through sucking, they can enter into the uh, 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 enter into the udder uh, through teeth canal. From there, they colonize uh, colonize the secretory cell. colonize of organism produce toxic substances be harmful to milk producing cells so cow immune system uh, send white blood cells somatic cells to fight the organism like uh, like uh, uh, like uh, like uh, uh, so after that uh, it, it depend on the immune status of the cow uh, either animal is recovered or uh, there is a um, there is a clinical mastitis or one another important form which is called uricon milk form then uh, there is no any uh, visible clinical signs but animal is suffer from the mastitis and his cows use uricon milk like only the visible thing you can uh, see in the subclinical mastitis there is a redu uh, reduction in milk yield so classification of mastitis on the basis a uh, basis of the severity and uh, a sudden uh, appearance and mastitis can be divided into the for acute subacute uh, for acute acute subacute or chronic for acute means disease sudden a uh, sudden appear of disease uh, disease can appear with a uh, big severity so there is a there is a systemic reaction there is a high rise of temperature in you know, urea depression a uh, shankan eye and in other there is a all inflammatory cardinal sign like red or swollen pain functional sometimes irritation of the milk or sometimes in low clot flap of the blood are present in peripheral case this is a very uh, very very uh, very peripheral case uh, in acute case there is no systemic reaction there is less systemic reaction sometimes temperature is 103 to 104 degrees centigrade less depression infection may be localized or entire other may be involved uh, or, and there is other sign other sign means there is a red hot swollen or pain uh, pain pain on the udder in subacute problem subacute it is also called subclinical mastitis is a big problem it causes the total loss 70 70 to 80% of the loss is caused due uh, occur due to this subacute form of the mastitis there is a variable change in the milk variable change uh, there is a compo the composition of milk is changed there is a uh, 
uh, huge number of uh, somatic cell count in the milk no change in other tissue culture of the milk positive for bacterial pathogen so in here normal somatic cell count is below 50000 but here the is a normal range is uh, to uh, 50000 to 2 lakhs but in sub acute mastitis uh, it goes up to the 5 lakhs in chronic form there is a terminal stage of disease in terminal stage of the disease other became hard fibrosis means cold mastitis hard swelling of uh, regional lymph node especially supramammary lymph node atrophy of the membrane membrane will be decrease in size and parenchymatous cell are replaced by connective tissue so there is a cold hard or swollen of the sub so, supra memory link note are mainly seen in chronic type of mastitis and it is very difficult to treat that type of the mastitis that type of the mastitis so these are the form of uh, cl uh, classification of the mastitis just you see in the subclinical mastitis the all the normal parameter like solid net uh, are are uh, there are decrease fat also decrease lactose lactose total protein total casein whey protein all the parameter are decreases in subclinical mastitis so the the uh, there is albumin lactoferrin hemoglobin sodium chloride potassium calcium the compound it means the composition of the milk is deteriorate in subclinical mastitis so the milk is also not fit for the consumption and also the quantity of milk and quality of the milk is deteriorate in subclinical mastitis but there is no any visible change in the order in subclinical mastitis so it is a very difficult to uh, very difficult to uh, uh, diagnose the case of sub subclinical mastitis but it is easier to treat if if you, your your arm is detected there is a clinical mastitis so once it is detected because it is easy to treat diagnosis uh, visualization and preparation of the other any 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 uh, uh, we can see by palpation there is any hardness or any inflammatory sign in the other or uh, any uh, difference in firmness or unbalance in quarter shape or size so by visual visualizing or preparation of the other we can diagnose by physical examination of the other other important test is test of milk abnormality strip cup test by this method by this test we can we, we can we can see whether there is any clot present or in the milk or not if there is a clot present in the milk so we suspect there is a maybe may chance of mastitis another important test is bromothiol blue test btb test and bromocrisol purple test these two tests are based on the ph in normal milk there is a there is slightly acidic milk milk uh, the ph of milk is a 2 to uh, 6.7 to 6.8 but in uh, mastitis, the milk became alkalinity. So this test, uh, we can uh, perform the pH of the milk. Uh, if the pH is altered, there may be chance of uh, chance of uh, mastitis. Chloride test. Chloride in uh, in mastitis milk, the chloride uh, chloride one of the constituents of the milk. The chloride content is increased. By, by this test, we can we can uh, we can we can quantify the chloride in the milk or uh, if it is increased so there is a chance of mastitis california mastitis test is a one of the important tests and it is easily found uh, is it is easily 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 it, uh, it is easily performed in field condition it is it is based on uh, it is based on ph or it is based on uh, somatic cell uh, somatic cell Somatic cell, as you know, as you know earlier, there is increase, uh, there is alkalinity of the milk, or there is increased somatic cell count in uh, in, in mastitis. Uh, by using this test, we can uh, we can test both the things, either pH or somatic cell count. If increase, uh, if the pH of the increase increase, uh, 
in positive case we can find purple milk or uh, there is a deficit thick liquid is formed in the pleurocele for mastitis cell. so it is one one of the important test in pre condition we can perform to detect either clinical mastitis or subclinical mastitis another important is a white side test uh, in white side test uh, we can use the uh, slide on black background and two to two uh, in a five drop milk we can uh, place on the slide and two drop in it in in mastitis positive milk there is a uh, uh, thick viscid uh, liquid is formed another another test is electric conductivity test it is a, one of the cheapest uh, uh, cheapest test uh, very very nominal it is a, it is a one of the test it is based on thermal conductivity in mastitis milk there is an increased somatic cell count so there is an increased thermal conductivity if the thermal conductivity of the milk is increased it means there is a mastitis so more uh, electric con uh, conductivity is more in mastitis milk another gold standard test is culture examination test it means that the, the, as you know the disease is caused by various bacteria so one of the standard method uh, to detect the mastitis is by culturing the bacteria on the plant media so but in field condition my suggestion is, is is to use California mastitis test for detection of the mastitis. These are the different uh, uh, steps. Uh, first few uh, to perform the California mastitis test. Uh, first few milk we can discard. After that, equal amount of milk or the reagent we can mix. In positive case, there is a purple, uh, purple, purple milk become purple, or there is our uh, yeah, there is a visit, visit milk is formed in positive case. If you tilt the pedal, there is a sting like a sting like appearance in the milk. So this is very easy test for uh, performed within within five minutes. If the test is positive, then every test we can say the positive of the clinical mastitis. So a treatment. Another important what is the goal of treatment? That the goal of the treatment for uh, the early uh, uh, goal of the treatment how to con uh, how to how to con how to control this disease as uh, this disease as early as possible so antibiotic therapy is uh, one of the because mainly disease is caused by the antibiotic but we can how we can choose the antibiotic if it is uh, based on antibiotic sensitivity test because no one antibiotic is 100% effective because there are various bacteria involved in the uh, in the mastitis. So, master antibiotic uh, antibiotic is judged on the basis of antibiotic sensitivity test. But in field condition, we can use uh, before the uh, result of antibiotic test broad spectrum antibiotic like septrazone with tazobactam or uh, uh, amoxicillin, cloxacillin, with sulvectum, we can use. Uh, the treatment, the treatment, uh, uh, successful of, uh, success of the treatment is depend on the, the root of the administration of the therapy. If there is a systematic, a systemic reaction, means there is high rise of temperature, there is anorexia of food. In that condition, we can use parental antibiotic. Means either IV or IM, we can use antibiotic. Uh, there is different antibiotic available in the market. On the basis of antibiotic sensitivity, test, we can use antibiotic. Uh, other the other route of administration is intramembrane administration. Intramembrane administration we can use mainly in subclinical and chronic form of hemostatis where when when there is a localized symptom is upper if there is acute symptom we do not go for intermediary administration of antibiotic or uh, mainly in subclinical mastitis chronic mastitis we can use intermediary administration another drug we can use is anti-inflammatory drugs like meloxicam ketoprofen nemoslides uh, besides this, we can also use uh, toxin in meg meg meglutide. 
Maglutine injection we can also use a steroid like dexamethasone and also so dexamethasone we can use because this is a D fibronitic drug. Uh, in 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 mastitis there is a fibrosis of the other plant. If we use dexamethasone, dexamethasone is an anti fibrinitic drug. It uh, it helps in reduce fibrinosis. Another thing anti histamine because there is a uh, anti-inflammatory reaction, so anti-histaminic we can use enzyme like streptokinase, streptodornase, hyalase we can use in that. Oxytocin, another important thing is uh, uh, if there is a uh, oxytocin, the role of oxytocin facilitate complete milk evacuation and removal of toxic material and techniques. So before the start treatment, if there is a severity or there is a uh, there is a flap formation or pus formation, so we use oxytocin earlier. After that, uh, oxytocin uh, oxytocin help in letting down of milk. So there is a fluxing of bacteria from the other. So of the oxytocin, uh, oxytocin is on, one of the important drugs to treat the mastitis. Another important thing is fluid therapy. In severe case, we can use isotonic fluid or hypotonic fluid. Uh, in acute case, where the ex extensive tissue damage or toxemia is occurred. Uh, another thing is hyper hypertonic slide. In intramembry administration, hypertonic slide we can use intramembry to flush out the bacteria from the other. It can be performed two to three days. In two to three days, 50 to 60 percent of the clinical system will be repaired. Uh, another thing is cold fall or fermentation. Application of cold ice in affected order reduce swelling and the absorption of the toxin in acute case of the mastitis. Uh, it is depend on the situation where there is a inflammatory, uh, like acute case or for acute case, we can use cold fermentation. But in subacute case or chronical case, we can use hot formation like magnesium sulfate is done to relieve from inflammation. Dietary, another important thing is, that, uh, as you know, the mastitis is also occurs due to deficiency of the vitamin E, selenium. So, if we, uh, we give dietary su supplement along with antibiotics, the chance of recovery is increased. Especially in subclinical mastitis, uh, if we use selenium, 500 I, IU and uh, uh, vitamin E 500 IU and selenium 6 mg per in per day. It is very eff effective to control subclinical mastitis in lactate in day. Uh, and vitamin C, because the uh, vitamin C ascorbic acid is used 25 mg per kg body weight, also uh, help in management of subclinical mastitis. So dietary dietary supplement of the mineral and vitamins also help in reduce the uh, reduce the uh, also help in reduce the chance of especially subclinical mastitis uh, subclinical mastitis in dairy cow or it is uh, it may uh, adjunct therapy in clinical mastitis. Control of the mastitis is a very important thing. So how to control the mastitis? Sound husbandry practice means prevent the calf to cause any injury to teeth or other. Full hand milking should be practiced. Keeping the animal on bed or dirty floor should be discouraged because uh, if the the floor is uh, floor is dirty, so there is a more chance of contamination of the bacteria into the others. So there is a more chance of mastitis. So uh, we avoid uh, wet or dirty floor. Pakka floor must be evenly of, if we use in a, in a organized dairy farm, there is a pakka floor, means a concrete floor we can use. So the floor must be uh, properly bedded. Means in modern practice, there is a, there is a, there is a rubber mat available. If we use rubber mat, so there is a less chance of other injury and uh, there is a, also less chance of uh, dirty floor, or if the floor is unarranged, so there is a in, uh, there is a injury to teeth or other. So uh, to prevent uh, all the things, if we use rubber mat, it will help to prevent mastitis in the proper milking milking hygiene. 
मिल्कल हैंड्स शुड बी वॉश फॉर यू बिकॉज द डिजीज इज कॉज बाय द इन्वायरमेंटल बैक्टीरिया लाइक इकोलाइक कॉर्नी बैक्टीरिया सो दिस बैक्टीरिया कैन 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 कम फ्रॉम इन्फेक्टेड एनिमल टू हेल्दी एनिमल बाय द मिल्कस हैंड एंड इट इज आल्सो कम थ्रू द इटेंसी लाइक रूट्स गम्स एंड क्लॉथेस ऑफ मिल्क मिल्क्स so proper hygienic must be maintained before the milking kids should be clean and dry before the milking non infected animals should be milked first uh, after that uh, infected animals should be milked after milking animals should not be allowed to sit immediately because there is a negative pressure in the udder if animal sit there is a may chance of suck this uh, there is a may chance to suck this bacteria from the teat canal to udder uh another thing is dipping of the teat after milk so uh teat dipping is one of the important method to prevent mastitis in high breed uh, before and after milking if we use a teat dipping uh in teat dipping hydrochloric solution hypochlorite solution and chlorhexidine solution we can use it will help to prevent the mastitis uh culling of chronically infected animal is also because culling of a chronic infected animal is one of the important because it is it is source of infection in dairy cow and there is more treatment for also to uh, to uh, to cure the animal from mastitis so it is better to cull these animal nutritional uh, deficiency of selenium and vitamin e in the diet has been associated with increased rate of new memory infection so proper balance ration must be provided if they if the animal is very prone to these diseases so there is a restricted protein diet or uh, uh, especially especially high protein diet regular screening of the mastitis as you know there in sub here there is subclinical form of the mastitis so there is no any visible sign of the mastitis but there is a reduced milk or the composition of the milk is altered like increased somatic soil counts so in this case we can use bulk bulk uh, bulk milk tank uh, test uh, through california mastitis test steep cup test or white side test this is a uh, uh, this is a test we can perform uh, we can perform at the farmers field or at farm so a regular screening of the mastitis is one of the important tools to prevent mastitis in dairy cow another important disease is hemorrhagic septicemia which as it is very one of the oldest disease but is still prevalent in our area or in india yeah, disease is many many synonyms like pertussis sipping fever gorgon disease hemorrhagic septicemia it is a cute highly fatal septicemic disease with high mortality rate and mortality goes up to 60% and disease is prevalent all around the country no any state is free from this disease and buffalo is uh, more susceptible than cattle young cattle are more prone to this disease either so adult uh, so young cow buffalo young buffalo are more susceptible to this uh hemorrhagic septicemia disease disease is wide spread in almost all part of the tropical and subtropical country in india disease is endemic in nature and occurs most commonly after monsoon because the the bacteria is normally commonly present in the respiratory tract of this uh, uh, animal but hot humid climate favor the growth of the bacteria so there is a more chance of outbreak of this disease in monsoon hot and disease cause high economic loss and the losses in india occurs which are 5000 crore in each and every year direct loss are due to the uh, like uh, 80% in direct losses up to the 20% it is second most reported disease in india during 91 to 2010 by nadis Etiology disease is caused by Pasteurella multocida type one, and belonging to zero type B group, commonly in buffalo and cattle. So, Pasteurella is a gram-negative bacteria, is a coccoid, coccoid, short filament, thus shaped by polar organism. So, it is bacterial disease caused by Pasteurella multocida type one, and. Uh, which uh, buffalo and cattle are more susceptible 
species especially young cattle or uh, age of 6 to 2 years are more susceptible uh, the disease is little bit uh, 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 so, uh, sheep and goat and pigs are little bit resistance to disease and seldom suffer from this disease mode of transmission ingestion and inhalation of uh, uh, infected materials either during direct contact or via fomites such as contaminated feed and water the causative organism are thoroughly to spread mainly in the respiratory secretion, but they can also form in other secretion, including feces and urine. Incubation period of the disease after infection first appear of the symptom is three to five days in most of the case. Although it is much shorter in few, uh, it, uh, it is a very acute disease. Disease can even seen few days, a uh, few few hours after infection. The clinical sign, uh, the there is high rise of temperature. Temperature goes up to 104 degree Fahrenheit to 107 degree Fahrenheit. There is severe. There is a drooling of saliva from the mouth. There is a nasal discharge. There is lacrimation, dyspnea, difficulty in breathing, and uh, for, uh, and folding uh, folding at the mouth or nostril. Odometer swelling in the submandibular region. Sharp dropping in milk production. Auscultation of the lungs, or if we do auscultation of the lungs, there is increased vascular or moisture sound. Some animals may also uh, sign of the abdominal pain, diarrhea, and pain. But the cardinal sign is that there is a excessive swelling of the submandibular region, and there is a drilling of saliva and dyspnea, the cardinal sign of this disease. Postmortem lesion, widespread of the hemorrhage, edema, hyperemia in edema. In internal organ, there is a gelatinous mass with a straw color of blood stain from can be jelly found in some mandibular region. In thoracic and abdominal cavity, pericardial sac often contain blood tinge, serous to zero, zero fibrinal fluid, and petechial hemorrhage. Pigmatic hemorrhage may also found in particularly on the heart. Lungs are diffuse, congested, and it is vitreous and may contain fluid. Foam is often found in the Extensively pneumonia, though possibly the possible is typical. The digestive tract of animal may also be hypermic and congested. Diagnosis. Diagnosis: There is no clinical sign. There is a cardiac uh, clinical signs. There is a some mandibular edema, difficulty in breathing, clothing of the saliva from the mouth. Uh, gross pathology reason is the, the, there is a toxemia, so extensive hemorrhage of the uh, extensive hemorrhage in the internal organ, or there is a gelatinous mass on uh, a gelatinous mass on the sub submandibular region. Cons consideration of real and there uh, the disease is uh, epidemic in that village. So by uh, by combined all the things, we can diagnose the disease. There is an outbreak of uh, HS in that particular area. For confirmatory diagnosis, culture and serological examination will be performed. Treatment. As it is a bacterial disease, so antibiotic is the uh, theoretically could be effective to treat the wide range of the antibiotic currently is available. Here, one thing I want to share that earlier the treatment, uh, the, uh, the uh, sulfonamide is the drug of choice to treat uh, this HS, but uh, there is a develop of resistance in field condition. This and now this antibiotic is not so effective uh, as as earlier it was. So injection of sodium uh, sodium uh, septiofar is the one of the uh, one of the very effective antibiotic. Dose rate one mg per kg body weight intramuscular. Uh, in 24 hours for three to five days is very effective to treat the respiratory infection, especially HS infection. Another is septrizone, this cell vector, at the rate three, three gram per day, intramuscular once a day for 24 hours for three to five days. Uh, gentamicin, now gentamicin is also very less used because it also resistance in some, some areas. Uh, the dose rate is 30 to 40 ml intramuscular, repeat after 8 hours for 3 to 5 days. Another, uh, there is a also swelling, so use with dexamethasone at the rate 
a stoic we can use dexamethasone 1 mg per kg body weight uh, 1 mg per kg for 5 kg body weight we can use high dose of uh, anti dexamethasone we can use to treat this which is coming. now very important how to prevent and control this disease vaccination on a routine prophylactic basis vaccination is the one of the major uh, major thing we can control this uh, this uh, uh, this disease in the endemic area the commercially available vaccine like hs vaccine is available and the PAF can develop in the indian industrial can develop this uh, vaccine the vaccine can be used before the onset of monsoon which is a use in the late late june or in the early july so if we use this vaccine once in a year so it will protect uh, throughout the year uh, you know, if we use this vaccine in first time so first time it is used the uh, cough uh, of six months after that it, it is used for booster dose we can use after four months of the first vaccination and annually we can use this vaccine uh, that is the proper schedule of this vaccine. Este establish good reporting system. If this disease is outbreak, so if we, uh, if uh, there is a good reporting system, so if we report the authority, if there is outbreak of this disease, so the government will uh, government will uh, uh, be uh, ready to provide vaccine for that area. Create awareness of this disease among the farmers. Prevent mixing of animal from endemic to non-endemic area. Ensure that the animal originated from one region where no outbreak of HS has occurred for minimum a period of one year. Test for the presence of antibody of the indirect immunoglobulin test or the laser test. Hold animal under a general of two to three weeks before the transport. Quarantine the animal after the transport to new location. So preventive measure during the outbreak, continue vaccination program nearby village. So there, so uh, there is a mass vaccination or ring vaccination you can perform the nearby village. So disease cannot be uh, outbreak in nearby village. Isolation and treat the animals showing clinical sign with a parental broad spectrum because it is a, it is a, because it is a bacterial disease. So it can. Uh, it can be cured by the using broad spectrum antibiotic. But if we use late, uh, if, we use, uh, if we start late treatment, so there is less chance of the recovery of the animal. So earlier, earlier detection of the disease and earlier starting, uh, earlier starting of the treatment is the key to success to overcome this disease. Check the rectal temperature of all immediate in contact animal in the heart. Search daily for sick animal or carcass of dead animal. Confine heart as much as possible. Prevent movement of the animal in and out. Disease for ministries or disease. Take immediate action to carry out post-mortem examination and make a tentative diagnosis. Dispatch specimen to the near diagnostic laboratory. Dispose of carcass and dead animal properly. Properly dispose of unconsumed fodder, bedding, etc. from infected premises. Closely monitor or stop rain associated activity because the disease can outbreak after the monsoon. Another important disease is black water disease. Black water disease is a, a synonym, it is also known as black lake water in Pasima Gandinus. It is acute, infectious, highly fatal disease, bacterial disease, mainly affected cattle and buffalo. The disease is characterized by lesion of impaired. Disease is mainly uh, caused in heavy muscles area, heavy musculature like gluteal muscles. Uh, buffalo in disease is mainly occur in cattle. Buffalo suffer from milder forms. Contamination of pasture appear to be because it is a soil borne disease. So contamination of pasture is a major source of infection of the um, black water. Healthy animal in the age group of 6 to 2 years is generally effective. The disease is widespread in most of the tropical countries of the world. In India, disease is sporadic in nature and appear in almost all the states during rainy season. So, the disease is also seen after the rainy season, means after the monsoon.
etiology as a disease is caused by cholesterol say why that disease is, is gram positive rod separate spore forming toxin producing anaerobic bacteria so susceptible estes cattle are between cattle of 6 to uh, 2 years age group are very susceptible to this disease cattle that have high feed intake and well fed cattle are uh, very prone to this disease mode of temp, uh, transmission it is a soil borne infectious infection transmitted to wound injection wound injection injection needle or by ingestion especially when there are polar abrasion the organism are usually deep into soil but outbreak could occur post earth moving operation so disease is uh, related to agriculture operation so spore forming bacteria present below the soil uh, during the agriculture uh, operation especially in the month of uh, in the month of june july there is a concert operation to grow or uh, grow kharif uh, kharif season kharif season uh, crop like uh, uh, like kharif uh, season crop like uh, uh, like rice uh, or uh, pigeon pea we can grow in that month. So there is a agriculture operation. So the soil forming bacteria come on the surface of the soil and hot humid uh, climate favor the export forming bacteria uh, to uh, so there is a more chance of uh, uh, more chance of outbreak of the disease. Incubation period of disease is two to five days. Symptom there is sudden high rise of temperature. Temperature goes up to the one seven degree to 108 degree Fahrenheit, animal stop eating, rumination. Characteristic, the cardinal clinical sign is a hot, painful swelling develop on low, lowing or buttock region cause lameness. Swelling sometimes affected soldier, chest, neck also. When press the swelling area, there is a cracking of sound and hurt because of the gas accumulation in the soil. Swelling. So, major characteristic signs, especially in the gluteal muscle, the hot and painful swelling, if we trace that area, there is a cracking, crackling sound. So, because there is a formation of gas gangrene, so animal die within 24 to 48 hours appearing after appearing of the symptom, at this junction, swelling becomes cold and painless. Post-mortem examination, the clinical design over the swelling appeared dark with oozing of dark color, offensive smell fluid, cryptating sound when cut open, so using of dark, dark red fluid with double with rancid order. The affected muscles on palpation of a pair responds like the presence of gas bubble, indicating necrotizing hemorrhage myocytosis due to toxin. Spleen, liver and kidney lungs show a Lewis profile and image. Diagnosis usually easy to diagnose because typical systems, typical symptoms like uh, swelling of the especially gluteal muscle region, and if we press that swelling, there is a crackling sound, and like there is a formation of gas. So it is very easy to diagnose after uh, bacteriological examination of the jutate is mere made from effective person reveal cigar shape road. Uh, rod sep bacteria treatment as it is a bacterial disease and it is gram positive disease so penicillin amoxicillin are very effective drug to control this disease penicillin in large dose or oxytetracycline are both antibiotic are the drug of choice third generation cyclosporinol also used in the field condition treatment is ineffective in advanced advanced epistemic stage antibiotic therapy was found very effective when administration within uh, 12 hours after appearance of the clinical symptom control and prevention endemic area vaccinate all the animals about six months of age before the onset of the manju vaccine should be administrated as per the instruction of the manufacturers Burning is a, one of the important thing is burning of the upper layer of the soil with a straw to eliminate the spore in the area. A sprinkler of lime or disinfectant over the carcass at the time of burial. So the vulture, vulture or uh, jackals could not uh, take this carcass and spread the uh, infection from endemic to non-endemic area. So proper disposal of the carcass is one of the important at proper buried of the carcass. 
another important disease is food and mouth disease is a one of the important disease food and mouth disease is caused aphthous fever contagious aphthous pneumonia aphthous vascular aphthous in hindi it is called kurha chapka ho so food and mouth disease is acute virally highly contagious viral disease that affect cloven footed life stock cloven food means those animal which has by by uh, by food like cow cow sheep goat buffalo but it does not affect in the uh, animals like horse or donkey fmd is most significant epidemic and cm disease and treating livestock since 16th century it is one of the oldest disease endemic in the part of asia africa middle east or south africa and the uh, north america iceland central america new zealand australia western europe are disease free country so once disease is outbreak this country could ban the trade restriction in india disease is widely prevalent in each and every year the disease is uh, epidemic and cause huge economic loss to the region because it is severely reduced the milk yield economic important fmd is considered to most economic devastating livestock disease virus in the world direct cause loss of production production goes up to uh, goes uh, down up to 80% milk milk production right uh, also uh, uh, working capacity also reduce the working capacity of the animal in direct loss eradication cost the cost of vaccination loss of trade or export loss of affiliation industry consumer fears endemic country uh, in endemic country like india 6.5 to 8 case billion uh, uh, usd dollar per year uh, and even in a fmd free country due to trade excess and their million usd dollar per year so uh etiology it is caused by picorna virus picorna virus is one of the smallest virus in animal origin disease uh, it's a aphthous virus non enveloplus rna virus so it is rna virus so there is strain variation huge so no vaccine is very effective not a single strain against the vaccination is effective against this disease there is so seven zero type a o c s e r one set 1 set 2 set 3 seven distinct zero type of person uh, in india especially o o a o c or asia strain are present in india a o strain first time recorded in the france c first time recorded in the germany asia in india asia one sat 1 2 3 uh, recorded in the different part of the african country more than 7 16 uh, strain is uh, uh, detected many are not cross protection which make vaccination difficult and susceptible horse cattle pig all cloven footed animal are very susceptible over 70 species of the wild are to that are also 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 susceptible horse does not horse donkey does not susceptible mode of transmission direct contact vascular fluid in the sense of infected animal part in direct contact via fomites boots hands clothing so it is highly contagious disease virus in virus also present in all secretion and excretion inter body by ingestion and inhalation skin abrasion mucous membrane respiratory erosion so it is highly contagious disease once disease is outbreak in uh, single cattle in a village within week it can uh, infect all the animal in that village and cause huge economic loss morbidity morbidity goes up to 100% one dg is recorded it can infect all the animal present in that village mortality uh, it's a uh, less mortality is recorded in adult especially in calf uh, there is a mortality mortality goes up to 1 to 5% clinical sign incubation period means after infection first appear of the symptom is 1 to 14 days there is high rising of temperature especially as it this is name is foot and mouth disease so the lesion is present in the foot and mouth vesicle is a vesicle formation in the feet mouth nares muzzle teeth lameness animal is due to formation of vesicle there is a lameness so in the left hand to move slapy sometimes there is a in untreated case there is a slapping of food in pregnant animal there may be chance of abortion and especially in cat there is a chance of death due to myocardial degeneration food lesion 
food lesson present in the interdigital space coronary vein or lameness and animal due to presence of this animal is reluctant to move oral lesion there is a presentation uh, there is a formation of the uh, vesicle especially in mouth tongue dental plate soft plate nostril muzzle there is a drooling of saliva for, due to formation of vesicle uh, vesicle there is a drooling of saliva nasal discharge animal is reluctant to eat loss of body condition sometime uh, sometime uh, teeth lesion are also present there, there, and there is a decrease Uh, due to teeth lesion, there is a decrease milk production. Sometimes um, there may be mastitis. Postmortem lesion: vesicles single or multiple vesicles are present in the tongues. Hyvrinous stage: uh, there is a deposition of hyvrin over that uh, vesicles. Sloughing of hair, and one of the important uh, important pathol uh, PM lesion is tiger heart. Tiger is heart means there is a myocardial degeneration. There is a uh, there is a pattern uh, like a, a pattern. There is a formation of pattern in the in the heart, in especially of uh, especially in the calf due to necrosis. Laboratory diagnosis, initial diagnosis, uh, virus isolation, virus identification, LISA test, RT PCR. Complement fixation test, serological test, like ELISA vital neutralization test, non-structural protein treatment. As it is a viral disease, so no specific uh, specific treatment is available. Only we can use supportive treatment. If there is a high rise uh, high rise of temperature, we use antipyretic drugs uh, to enhance healing. We can use vitamin A D uh, to enhance the production. We can use a uh, multivitamin. to prevent secondary bacterial infection we can use antibiotic also uh, if the quarantine is uh, one uh, to segregate uh, infected animal from the healthy population uh, so a uh, movement of uh, movement of uh, control the movement of animal from infected to uh, infected area to healthy area so prevention strict import restriction prohibited infected animal or contaminated food stuff feed in animal feed from fmd affected country with treatment of swill uh, gar garbage because it is disease can be transmitted from the uh, uh, straw also so the treatment of the garbage is very essential uh, travels and belongings monitored at the port of entry control Control quarantine and movement restriction, depopulation of infected animal, cleaning and disinfectant of the premises, vector control because disease is also transmitted through the vector. Vaccination one of the main important thing is vaccination. When we use in endemic area vaccination issue, vaccination uh, there is a zero typing so that after the detects after the zero typing we can judge which Which uh, vaccine is very effective? Here, multi uh, in India, multi multi zero type vaccine is available. Uh, that contains O A C A C A one. All strains are uh, available. Raksha FMD we can use in this area. Uh, uh, vaccination because the vaccine is this vaccine in endemic uh, endemic area protect only for six months. So. Revaccination is required, so the vaccination of the animal is costly, and it is time con consuming. Uh, consuming does not protect against infection, but prevent or lessen the clinical sign spread infection to the other animals. That's all. Any question, madam? Madam. Ah, uh, participants, do you have any questions? any question regarding this disease like uh, lsd fmd hs bq fmd uh, as you can uh, query you may ask madam uh, i think there are no questions so uh, thank you everyone you ma'am can uh, i stop my presentation Can I stop my presentation, ma'am? Yes, yes.
so thank you everyone you can leave this meeting okay thank you ma'am can i leave yes yes sure okay thank you